Hi, Sage. <laughs> I don't know why I tapped into your energy and I feel angry already. I feel angry already. What's the matter? What's happening? What happened? I see in the recent past you decided to take a step on a side from some situations and focus on your success and your foundation and you've been, you know, like pushing on like a horse on whatever you wanted to do. I feel like whatever you've been focusing on took a lot of the energy from you and you've been yeah look at it a lot of energy it took from you and you just wanted to focus on the things maybe you know you left you didn't you shifted your focus from a person like i saw the queen of wands um that could be a counterpart and you started to focus you know on your business on your you know improvements on your education on your success uh and you took a lot of action with that Mm, some of you are dealing with a cancer or the placement of the cancer on your chart could have an influence on you. Uh, some of you took took the opportunity, I felt like saying, but uh, had the opportunity to maybe travel um, either for work or travel to see your family, reconnect with people that you haven't seen in a really long time. Um, this could have been a spontaneous thing that could have happened or you took a spontaneous decision. Or for some of you, you had the opportunity to actually um, increase your finances in the recent past. Maybe in quite some long time, you got an opportunity to increase your, pa uh, your finances. Whatever you did in the recent past, maybe this is not traveling, like, you know, long distance travel. Maybe this is like short distance travel or like, you know, more movement. But I do see the fact that you decided to stay away from whatever this was before the Eight of Cups, it actually made you increase your finances, your well-being, your satisfaction. Maybe it also took you from a place of feeling less, less of, you know? Some of you fell in love with yourself in the recent past, yeah, and uh, you took very much care of your solitude, of what's important to you. In the recent past, you chose yourself, and I feel like that did very well to you. Just make sure that choosing yourself in the recent past is not actually isolating you and is not creating walls uh, for others to contact you or for others to reach out to you or for others to come close to you. Um, and I'm not saying these are the, the people or the situations that you choose to leave behind. These are those that are still close to you, like the family members or like the old buddies, you know. But I do see in the past you chose yourself and you you chose maybe solitude or you chose to uh, keep your, um, your private life for yourself, you know. Maybe some of you try to stay away from a specific person or I felt like saying... Uh, energies like a plural so maybe some of you wanted to stay away from specific energies because you felt like there is so much deception and confusion and conflicting ideas and conflicting you know um thoughts and it's it's not worth it or you felt like you're not worth it so that's why you chose yourself but i like to see you you know temperance peaceful in the recent past king of swords let's in reverse let's not talk about the past anymore sure you chose not to give in to anger. Maybe you chose not to give in to, you know, um, like I said, these confu confusing situations because the King of Swords in reverse uh, is, not at, is not the best at thinking logically and taking, you know, action um, and thinking analytically and critically. So whatever you chose to leave behind, I feel like that was good for you. Maybe that was even a job for some of you.
in the current some of you i do see that you are connecting with someone from distance this could be a sibling or a or a friend this is somebody that you didn't you know connected in a while this could also be that some of you are choosing to relocate or to invest into travels i do see some some of you are planning now to shift um the way you moved with this five of pentacles i'll be honest with you i don't think it's the best move to do i'll advise you to be mindful with your money i would not make big investments right now mars is in cancer now talking about it and you may feel like you want to spend i see the world at the bottom of the deck so you, you know maybe you want to go somewhere where you feel like you you can be yourself you can be independent and you can also rest and some of you are thinking of moving somewhere abroad relocate take a risk make an investment i feel like it's coming but maybe not just now or maybe you're being advised in the current to plan with this pin, prince of pentacles here i feel like um you have to take the the um, necessary move you know towards this like you don't jump don't be reckless with the fool because if you're going to be reckless with the fool you're going to have uh, either financial difficulties or you're going to be very isolated you know maybe some of you do want to isolate yourself maybe some of you do want you know to spend some time alone maybe you want to think about you know things uh, that will help your progress but i feel like there is a need of you actually thinking about the 3d factors like the you know what i'm saying like the money part the investment part the grounding part the you know some of you could also feel alone while you're being surrounded by others wow in the current is happening a lot and i did see this queen of pentacles with the uh, seven of swords in the recent past so some of you have been cheated and betrayed by a queen of swords in the recent past i feel like you didn't quite expect it uh, this this could have been you know someone that you had some intense events with uh and that has happened but i feel like maybe this was um this situation initiated a new phase for you a new phase in which saying no starts to feel good maybe this initiated the phase in which um you make your choices differently maybe initiated a, um, a phase in which you don't give second chances and i did see the queen of swords in in this deck I did see the Queen of Swords, uh, the Queen of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. For some of you, the singles ones, I feel like you would want, you know, some love in your life. But at the same time, you feel meh. I don't know how to put this, but I feel like you would want to change. But you feel like it's not the right time or your love life has been put on hold. And that's something that you're not happy with. You know, there is something in relationship to the way you feel, either in a place or around some people, that makes you feel like meh. And my head started to hurt. Maybe you're focusing too much on something. Yes, uh, it's funny because I just wanted to say you have to be a bit careful with your money. I do see that the work you put in the past is going to be rewarded and your finances are going to increase. Um, I do see that maybe you're going to get an offer in the current. Maybe if it didn't came, it will come. An offer from a woman uh, to maybe help you with your money or you to help them with the money. But I do see some sort of financial increase. Uh, or this could be, you know... Uh, some money that you're going to get just one time because of whatever you've done in the past so you're going to get a reward from your past this could also increase your chances to actually move or for you to buy a car or uh, this could be a job offer for you that may start you know with a basic salary but you will have an increase in it Um, I would not dwell too much into thinking 
about stuff um i do see somebody that you're not necessarily in contact with or maybe you disconnected from uh, the queen of wands so remember i saw the queen of wands in the past uh, but you showed up as a king of wands maybe this energy an opposite sex uh, is trying to look into you or maybe after a long time this energy is coming close to you I would not be surprised if for the future we are going to see this Queen of um, Wands showing up on the table with some sort of communication. Oh, I feel exhausted. What's going on? Wait, let me try again. Uh, you know, I feel exhausted. Look, what the fuck, I'm feeling exhausted. The moon, too. Oh. There are so many thoughts that come in my mind right now with this. Uh, don't question your decisions and keep on persisting. Don't doubt that you make the right decisions to step away from confusion and situations in which you felt like you're being manipulated or whether you felt that this is going to be, you know, power struggle. If you feel like, hey, this is a bit uh, dodgy, trust, trust, trust and move, stay, take forward uh, steps, to take, you know, leave this fucking hell. Ooh, so hard to talk right now. I feel like the fear of either being controlled or somebody having the the um, arrogance or the um, wanting to have the upper hand is going to be so strong in their mind. All they think about is how to have gains. You you will probably come to some sort of realization in the future that some people that they were around you, they were around you just because they wanted some gains. Listen, if you doubt this, if it comes your mind, if it crosses your mind, just step away. Again, the two of swords here and the eight of cups, I feel like you're going to make a even more deeper autumn clean, you know, even more deeper autumn clean. And with this um, Knight of Wands, I feel like you're being strongly advised to just take forward movement. There are going to be, you know, situations that they are going to be filled with confusion. There are going to be situations that they may cause you anxiety. Don't give in to fear. Step away from the confusion and anxiety. And, you know, from the Page of Wands, we have a Knight of Wands. So trust, trust you're making progress in the future. Don't let fear or pride or whatever to overwhelm you. Five of Pentacles, let's see. Yes, don't let that, you know, um, to, to paralyze you. Look, uh, you're going to be offered by the universe all the support that you need to deal with situations. And some of you are going to be offered the possibility to... Um, deal with challenges from a higher perspective either you're gonna get some help from somebody or you are going to be this uh hierophant you're going to get into that energy of hierophant uh, i do see your finances increasing but more than that i do see that you probably are going to meet in the next 10 months somebody this could be new love um that comes in your mind in your mind hmm whenever you're gonna think about this reading if you're gonna meet somebody this could be somebody that you're actually going to proceed forward some of you are going to meet your soulmate and i'm saying this because i feel like saying this but also because they're are astrological movements in the sky that actually support single Sagittarius to actually meet somebody that is, you know, destined. Just look into Juno. There could also be an increase in your in your money or new family members in your uh, in your family. Not necessarily you having children, but some somebody in your family. A sibling, a cousin. There is some past energy actually coming into your life. 
Maybe some of you want to go to a place in your past. It could be a homeland or a home. Maybe you want to go revisit your home where you grew up, your childhood home. Maybe you're going to be like J-Lo going to visit your homeland. Um, maybe some of you want to go back to somebody. This five of cups, though, fell in reverse. So maybe some of you are choosing, you know, to focus on your enjoyment. Maybe some of you are going to get a, a job offer. Maybe some of you are going to choose to, um, you know, if you have some sort of, addiction or some sort of bad habit from your past you're gonna you know uh stay away from it i'm gonna put it like this to make more sense what i'm saying but i feel like you're going to choose you know um to go back maybe to a place in your life where you were um focusing on your enjoyment and maybe you did travel alone and you enjoyed life by yourself and you know you're going to focus on the things that actually bring you uh, enjoyment and satisfaction. I feel like you're going to make your choices in the future very much compared to what happened in the past. Or maybe you're going to use the wisdom from the past into making decision, decisions in the future. I feel very tired, Sage. I feel exhausted. I feel dizzy too. So do be careful. Do be careful with addictions and your health in general. Maybe some of you are going to have, look, this shows again. Maybe some of you are going to have to go through some medical procedures. Some of you are getting a job offer abroad. Listen, um, take care of your health because some of you may have to go through some uh, medical procedures for a job offer. This is a distance. Five of Pentacles, again, at the bottom of the deck, is going to take you from a place in which you probably felt like you have to deal with everything alone. Uh, you are being left behind. Listen. Uh, you're gonna get a job offer if you felt like you know okay things are happening it's super confusing i don't know i just need to thrive i just need to be careful with my decisions well you're gonna get rewards in the future they may come through a woman this could be a friend of sorts or somebody that you know um has been close to you you know what i'm saying Yes, you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to, you know, you're protected. You don't need to worry about it. You don't need to fight anymore in the near future. You don't need to be, you know, in defense in the near future. There, Listen, if you're in situations in which, you know, you have to prove fairness, you have to prove, you know, something, it will come to to justice. If there, you're in a situation in which there are secrets, well, the truth will come to surface. With this moon in reverse, the truth will come to surface. So don't worry about it. Look at how the cards are here. They were like very aligned and now it's like this. So expect, I'm not sure, like let me let me give you like in a month time, expect some sort of, you know, um, complications going on that will actually cause a bit of, you know, mess. But with that mess, I feel like you have all the tools you need to deal with it. So let me clear this on the side. I know I speak fast, but you can slow me down. And let's continue. I'm being told to stop. Stop taking action. Be careful with your money. Some of you are definitely traveling in the near future. Give it four months and you are off, my friend. You're off. You're off. But I'm being told to stop the reading here. So I'm going to stop the reading here. And keep on going the way you've been doing things so far. Okay? All right, Sage, my friend. This is what I have for you. See you on the next one. Bye.